hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and if you want to connect a google sheet with dialog flow agent and generate response on dialog flow using google sheet then you are looking at the right video let's get started for this sole purpose i have created a git repository here i have provided a full documented readme file and using this readme file you can connect google sheet and dialog flow so in this video i'll walk you through all the steps that you need to follow in order to make the connection successful first you need a gcp account when you are in your gcp account you need to create your first project and if you have your project then you can select the project and then go to im and admin then go to service accounts here you will see app engine default service account but if you don't see that you need to create a service account provide ownership to that service account for that project and then you need to go to this manage key section here you need to create a new service account key and you can click on add key or if you haven't any key you will see create key and then create new key and this will download a json formatted file that you need to keep at a safe place because this is very sensitive information don't share it with anyone you don't trust once you do that then again you need to go here and api and services and click on enable api and services here you need to click on enable api and services search for the word sheet you will find google sheets api click on that and you need to enable it once you perform these two steps download service account credential and second enable google sheet api you need node js installed on your system for backend development and ngrock to expose our local environment to internet so that we can uh, connect it to dialog flow and dialog flow can make request to our local host through ngrock once you have all these things you need to clone this repository either using this link or you download it as a zip file if you do so please give it a star it helps i have already downloaded it on my local computer so now let's get started with the development of backend the first thing you need to do is you need to install all the packages for that i'll use npm install hyphen hyphen save this will install all the required packages once you installed all the packages you need to create a env file this env file contains three things port credential and response seat id now this credential is the json service account credential that we have downloaded from gcp make sure that you put the service account credential json file in single line so that it can work here on a google sheet i have two column intent name and response make sure you use the same uh, column name intent name and response in your google sheet or i'll show you in the code section how you can change it to your google sheet here i have intent name which is resembles the intent name of google dialog flow and response for that particular intent name here in the link section you see this d after that this is a sheet id up to this uh hash you oh sorry up to this edit you copy this and paste it in your environment file further you go to this share section and copy the service account client email 
and provide it here so that and also make sure you choose editor role for that service account and click on done so that the service account can modify or read this Google sheet. Now we are ready to go. We have enabled uh, Google sheet API. We have our .env file. Now what we need to do is I'll start the server using node index.js. So you can see the server has started. Let me walk you through the code. So our starting point is index.js. This index.js is a express web application. Here we declare the web application and use URL encoding and JSON. And this is just to print that which route was called. We have two route, home route and dialog flow route. We are using that and then we start the web server on the port. Here in the route section, we have home route, which is just a sanity check that everything is working. In the dialog flow route, we have a post route dialog flow. So every request from dialog flow will come here. We extract the intent name, go to Google sheet here match the intent name and get the response and then send it as a fulfillment response here in the google sheet part i have created a single function get simple response this creates a document client for the google sheet loads the info fetch the info and loop over the rows match the intent name with the intent name provided and get the response so here the row intent name is the column name for my intent and row response is the column name for my response if you have changed this too you need to change it here and here as well so this is a simple javascript function here we are reading the credential from the service account using uh, environment variables but if you want to deploy it on your own server you don't need env file so now let's check the working for that i will start my ngrock on the same port my local host is working so it is working on 5000 so i will start ngrock on 5000 I will copy this URL. I'll go to dialog flow under fulfillment section. I'll provide the link followed by dialog flow route. I'll save it. If I go to intent section in the default fallback intent, you can see I don't have a response and I have enable fulfillment. Also in the default welcome intent, I don't have any response. I have enabled fulfillment. Now let's check the working. When I say hi, this will obviously come here. You can see path dialog flow with method post called. And indeed we got a response. We can verify it on the ngrock that we have sent 200 status. And in the diagnostic info, you can see fulfillment status is successful and this is the fulfillment response if i come here on my google sheet and if i change this and if i say hi how can how can i help you today and if i come here again and say hi Yeah, this will fetch the response from Google Sheet. If I say something that the board doesn't understand, it will trigger default fallback intent. And again, the response is coming from Google Sheet. You can see the webhook execution is successful. So I hope you have gained some knowledge out of this video. 
and i'm sure now you are able to connect your existing google sheet to uh, google dialog flow and with this methodology you can do much more things like generate dynamic response for other intents as well you can even store uh, users information on google sheet and use it as a database so i think this is it from my part of the video if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace